James Kaufman, World News Report today, February 21st, 2025. God bless you and yours, no matter where you are in the world. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. Ladies and gentlemen, we've had two M-class solar flares, both Earth-facing, and we haven't had much activity from our sun in quite some time. At 12.15 UTC time, or about 7.15 this morning Central Time, we had an M3.2 solar flare pop off Sunspot AR4000, newly named Sunspot AR4000. Now, that was followed up by an M1.2 solar flare, and that happened at about 14.35, at least it peaked at 14.35 UTC time, closer to about 7.35 Central Time here in the U.S., also generated by our newly named friend, Sunspot Group 4000. Head over to spaceweatherlive.com to verify the information we saw on GOES. First off, we see what really was an M3.39, the strongest flare we've seen in 72 hours, and of course, the last 24 hours. It was generated by our new sunspot group, 4000. It peaked at 12.15 UTC time, so about 5.15 central time here in the U.S., that was followed by our M1.4 solar flare, also generated by Sunspot AR4000. And it looked like that peaked at about 14.35 UTC time, about 7.35 this morning central time here in the U.S. We have only a 10% chance of having an X-class solar flare today. You can see that 4000 is a simple sunspot, although 3998 is a delta class sunspot. We'll take a look at all that in just one moment. Running a C baseline, a C1.65, we have a 40% chance of having an M class solar flare, but that ship has sailed. And of course, running a C baseline, well, I believe that that should be a 100% chance of having a C-class solar flare. Working our way over to HMI Intensigram, we see that we have nine Earth-facing sunspots. Three of them are about to go around the far limb of our sun. 3998 here is still a beta gamma sunspot, although it has morphed into a Delta class sunspot since this was taken this morning. You can see sunspot 4000 up here, the newly named sunspot, and it's still a simple sunspot group. Headed over to GOES, solar ultraviolet imager, 195 angstroms. We do have some problem with the equipment, it looks, looks like. This is Sunspot 4000 up here, and these are our two more complex sunspots, 98 and 99 here. We also seem to have a curl hole, maybe two or three of them, coming around the disk, and we can also see that we have some active sunspot. And let's not forget the three sunspot regions that we have going around the far limb that we already spoke about. I don't know what is causing that flash, but I'm guessing it's coming from SOS satellite. I hope it is. Headed over to our Absorption Prediction Center, we can see that the first of the M flares popped off mainly over the Atlantic, also covering some of Brazil and a lot of Africa as well. And that was followed, see if we can get there, 
right here by our M 1.2 solar flare. And that looks like it popped off mostly in the Atlantic or over the Atlantic and over most all of South America. We had another flare there. It was a strong sea flare right over South America. But no worries, everyone's receiving an ample dose of radiation if you're here on Earth, at least on the solar facing side of Earth. Now, I did pop over to Iswa Spiral to see if maybe they had modeled any of the M flares and see if maybe a coronal mass ejection had been lifted from our sun, but Iswa is down. I figured that we'd take a look at the Space Weather Prediction Center, although it's probably not been updated, and they don't have much going on. This has not been updated today. They have solar winds, let's see, doing not much of anything on the 21st, from about 475 down to about 325. And plasma starts out at about 2 and ends up at about 3 centimeters cubed. So it's a quiet day here on Earth besides the two M-class solar flares that were Earth-facing. God bless. Please share, subscribe, and always remember anything's possible in the bizarro world.